Cloudflare for Teams allows you to secure your devices, networks, and internal applications without compromising performance. This demo will showcase the new Cloudflare for Teams dashboard, which includes two products, Cloudflare Access and Gateway. To get started, navigate to the Cloudflare Teams dashboard at dash.teams.cloudflare.com. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, you can sign up and the browser will redirect you to the overview page. Let's start the demo with Cloudflare Access. Cloudflare Access allows you to securely expose your internal applications and services, all without a VPN. The first step to configuring Access is to identify an identity provider or IDP. We currently have a few IDPs configured, but we'll use Azure AD for this demo. Access integrates with all major IDPs that support OIDC or SAML. To create an Azure AD connection, you need the application ID and secret key, along with the associated directory ID. The Azure setup instructions, including screenshots, are below the form. So now that Azure AD is integrated with Cloudflare, we can start securing an application. For this demo, we're securing resourceonintra.net. It's an example of a wiki page that you might publish securely for your employees to access from wherever they are. Let's add this application to access. Prior to this demo, we added the domain resourceonintra.net to the Cloudflare network and chose Cloudflare as the authoritative DNS provider. This will allow Cloudflare to intercept the site's requests and make policy decisions. Let's call this app My Internal Wiki and choose a session duration of 24 hours from the dropdown here. Now, let's add a rule. Let's call this rule Just Me, as it's designed to only allow one user to access the application. After choosing Allow, you can configure the rule by selecting from a list of options that include email address, emails ending in a certain domain, existing access groups, IP ranges to whitelist specific IP addresses, everyone, or even existing IDP groups, as you see here. For this demo, let's use an email address. If you'd like to create a more detailed policy, you can add additional rules that are includes or exceptions where Cloudflare bypasses a request. Or you could add additional requirements including Boolean logic. Let's stick with our include using an email address option and click save. In the settings tab, you can configure settings related to cross-origin resource sharing. Now that our policy is complete, let's click save. Let's test it. Let's go to resourceonintra.net using an incognito window. We see a Cloudflare login page and are prompted to pick an identity provider. After choosing Azure AD and validating with an email and password, we're redirected to the original resource. However, because of the Cloudflare access policy, Cloudflare is proxying and logging all traffic. Let's review the access logs, where we should see an entry for everything we've done so far. In the access audit log, you can see that a policy was created on May 1st at 2.10 p.m. If you click the entry, you'll see additional detail about the policy. By clicking Access Requests, you can also see that resourceonintra.net was accessed by a user just a moment ago. After clicking the entry, there's more specific output for that policy as well. Additionally, if you have machines that need to interact with resources secured behind Cloudflare Access, you can configure those settings by clicking Service Off. You can either use service tokens or mutual TLS authentication. If you're using Access for infrastructure or otherwise, you need to create SSH short-lived certificates in lieu of private keys. Now that you've seen the Access portion of the dashboard, let's move on to Cloudflare Gateway. Cloudflare Gateway protects your networks by using DNS filtering to block malicious requests on the internet. The Gateway Overview page shows the allowed and blocked requests to your network, including detail about what kinds of requests were blocked. But how do you start sending traffic to Cloudflare Gateway? The first step is to set up a location. As you can see here, there's a configured location called AUS-1. Let's click Edit to see what information is needed to set this up. The first step to configuring a location is to specify your source IP address, which Gateway should automatically detect during initial setup. To take full advantage of Cloudflare Gateway, you should change your router settings to the IP addresses that Gateway assigns, 
both IPv4 and IPv6 if your network supports it, so that Cloudflare becomes your recursive DNS provider. Additionally, if you use Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 app, you can use the DNS over HTTPS subdomain to send requests directly to Gateway from your mobile device and apply the same policies configured here on your mobile device. After configuring a location, the next step to using Gateway is to create a policy. There's one existing policy called no malware or social media. Let's click edit to see the policy details. The no malware or social media policy is applied to the AUS-1 location, as you can see here in the overview page. If you navigate to security threats, you can select individual threats you'd like to block on your network. This policy is currently blocking malware and phishing. You can also select content categories that you'd like to block. This policy is currently blocking social networks. This means if you review the blocked requests in the overview page, you'll see that they're coming from Facebook, Twitter, or the Twitter API. Let's test this policy to make sure that it's working properly. If we go to malware.testcategory.com, which is a Cloudflare-owned domain, it shouldn't resolve. And it didn't. We can also go to facebook.com and see the exact same result. The last part of the new Cloudflare Teams dashboard to review is the My Team section. You can use this section to create groups to associate with the Cloudflare Teams policies. In this demo, you've seen the new Cloudflare for Teams dashboard, which includes Cloudflare Access and Gateway. To learn more about Cloudflare for Teams, head to teams.cloudflare.com.